I was delivered a solar panel with smashed glass, which I was then sent a new one and told to dispose of this one. But it was just the glass that was smashed and I thought it would be a waste to throw away. I put the multimeter on the positive and negative ends of the wire connected to the solar panel, which was getting 18 volts. So the panel worked perfectly fine and I thought it would be a waste to throw it away. So I needed to find a way to reseal the glass or cover the glass. Now replacing the glass would be expensive and I saw some people try and clear casting resin. But I also come across a video of someone using transparent self-adhesive laminate film. This size is 1 meter by 1220 mil, which will easily cover the whole panel. The way I decided to do it was to stick down one corner and slowly unpeel the white paper underneath while slowly pressing down on the film, trying to avoid any bubbles. I first started sticking it down by using my fingers, and as the area got bigger, I then tried a book just to give me a bigger surface to stick it down. It was a bit of a slow process, but it started to slowly get there. As the area got wider and wider, I swapped the book out for a bigger piece of wood, which worked quite well, but I think I needed an even longer piece of wood to cover the whole way across. As it got wider, I started getting some bubbles from trapped air under the film where I wasn't keeping it smooth enough as I was moving along. But I did plan to leave the panel for a day to see if the bubbles would come out and the next step was to cut off all the edges, which I used a knife just to run around the outer edge of the solar panel frame. I've seen a heat gun used on the edges, but I'm not going to in this video. Now after waiting a day, you can see that most of the air bubbles have come out. There's still a couple of little ones there, but it was a big change from before. And it'd be interesting to see how this does in the rain and with constant sun. Now I'm just going to test the panel again. Now it's got the film over the top of it check it's still working which we do end up with 18 volts again then i connect it up to the other three solar panels i have and connect them in parallel here you can see some readings from the charge controller now we're getting to the end of our summer and this panel has been out in the rain and out in the sun up to 30 degrees now this self-adhesive laminate film costs around 22 pounds so i thought it'd be a cheap way to try it out and see if we could save a panel we're looking to stop the panel from corroding so far a couple of weeks in the UK it's been fine. Depending on where you live, you'll have to find out for yourself. Thanks for watching, I'll leave links and information in the description below. Subscribe and like, welcome to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.